Hey, 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 it's your boy Juni, aka Beef Jerky Style, and today I got for you something very special Burger King Big Fish Sandwich Challenge. Challenge! Now, let me tell you, what kind of challenge is this? Is it a how many big fish sandwiches can I eat challenge? Is it a how fast can I eat a big fish sandwich challenge? Well, guess what? It's neither of those. This challenge is called the Try Not to Smack Your Lips While Eating a Fish Sandwich Challenge. All right? So, you may be wondering why I'm doing this challenge. It's because I've gotten so many comments from you guys saying that my lip smacking is out of control and that it drives you crazy. Sorry, I have to drive while talking. <laughs> well, guess what? This video, this whole video, I'm gonna try not to smack my lips at all while eating. All right, let's see how it goes. How can I get for you? Uh, can I have a big fish sandwich? Okay. Thank you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm also gonna do some uh, mean, mean comments reading. Let's go. Bro, you're worse than Andrew Zimmerman. Oh, Zimmern, when he eats. Yo, Andrew Zimmern is a freaking god, okay? So, let's just leave it at that. Um, wearing a mask in your car in the drive-thru. Wow, I don't trust anyone that wears a mask in their car by themselves. Can't subscribe. Same guy, this guy, what's his name? Mike Michaelister, okay. This channel isn't going too far. That smacking is gross. Hey, sorry, Mike. I'm working on it. How about this? Marty Frike. Stop smacking your lips. You know what? I'm trying. Here. This is this video is for you. Um Your smacking, your smacking is unreal cheese from Mini. Okay. Bro, good review, but eat with your damn mouth closed. Hey, watch this video. This is for you guys. My lord, could you smack your lips more? Jeez, oh my goodness. All you guys just really don't like my lip smacking, huh? Let me tell you, lip smacking, eating it like I did in my previous videos, is the best way to eat. Everything tastes better when you lip smack, okay? But this video, I'm going to try not to smack. Let's go. Oh, by the way, wearing a mask, I think it's mandatory when you're at a drive through over here and where I live, so that's why I'm wearing a mask. And also to protect people around me, okay? Let's go. Alright, here you go, guys. Here's the big fish from Burger King. Open it up. Hmm, okay. It has a nice looking bun. It's like a brioche style bun. Alright. It has uh, lettuce, pickles, tartar sauce. And a, the fish patty looks pretty crunchy. It's a panko breaded Alaskan pollock. Let's see if, if there's anything underneath. Oh yeah, there is a tartar sauce. Yep. All right, tartar sauce on top and, and bottom. Okay, so let's give it a go. This looks pretty good. It smells good. It smells like fried fish patty. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's see how it goes. I'm assuming this will be similar to the um, Wendy's sandwich um, because it's panko breaded. It's the same fish, Alaskan Pollock. It has pickles, lettuce, tartar sauce. The only thing that's different is uh, this one doesn't have cheese. The Wendy's has cheese. So let's see how this tastes. Hmm.
Mmm. Mmm. Oops. That was a very tiny lip smack. That one doesn't count. You know. Oops. Dude, I don't know if I can do this, but I'll keep trying. It's every time I talk, my lip smacks. I shouldn't talk with my mouthful. Okay. So, it tastes good. It's pretty crunchy. It's not as crunchy as the Wendy's one, but it's definitely crunchier than the other ones that are not panko breaded. The fish is... It's tasty. It's sweet. It's tender. It's flaky. Here. It's flaky and tender. The uh, pickles add a nice crunch. The lettuce adds a nice crunch. The tartar sauce is not a very strong, tangy one like the uh, Arby's one. The Arby's one was really good, but it was very tangy and it was really wet. There was a lot of tartar sauce. This, I feel like there's a very good balance of tartar sauce in there and the tanginess isn't too crazy. This is a pretty good sandwich, I'm going to say right now. This is probably going to be up there. I like it. Let me take another bite. Mmm. Mmm. This is a good sandwich. I'm pretty surprised. I was expecting it to be like Wendy's. Wendy's was good too, but I was thinking it'd be like kind of like mid-tier-ish, maybe low to mid-tier-ish, but this is actually going to be mid to high tier. This is pretty good. I kind of like it better than the Wendy's one. I definitely like it better than the McDonald's one. The McDonald's filet fish is very simple, no frills, and you know, sometimes it's better to have that simple, no frill sandwich, but if you want big flavor, big balanced flavor, this is balanced flavor here. I'm gonna go with this. This is good. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to be conscientious, conscientious about this whole lip smacking business, and it's making it's making me go crazy. Oh, by the way, I did hit my hundred followers, or actually, it was more than a hundred followers. Now it's like 113 right now, but I thank you all. I really appreciate it. I hope I can bring you guys more um, content that you guys can enjoy. Hold on, let me congratulate the 100th follower. Who was it? Um, let me see. I'll find it real quick. There you go. Bob Eckert 56 100th subscriber. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone. And um, to all you guys who viewed all my videos, you know, my Culver's uh, fish video got almost 3,000 views now. Dude, that's awesome. You know, I'm going to try to get better at this stuff, bring better content. Reduce my lip smacking, that's for sure. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see where this channel goes. This is the last day of the Lenten season, so this fish sandwich series is probably going to be over after this sandwich. And I enjoyed it so much that it made me want to make my own fish sandwich. But I don't want to buy any old filet from the um, grocery store and uh, cook up a sandwich. I want to catch my fish and make a sandwich. So my next series will be 
me fishing for maybe walleye or something, some type of fish to make a sandwich with. That's my next series. I don't know if I'll be successful. Well, let's give it a go. I just bought all this uh, fishing equipment and uh, I've been uh, learning a lot on YouTube and we'll see. So until then, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you for the support. And I'll see you in the next video.